The appendix is a narrow, finger-shaped pouch that projects out from the colon. It contains a large amount of lymphoid tissue, but is not thought to have any vital functions in the human body. The inflammation of the appendix is known as appendicitis and is a common cause for acute severe abdominal pain. Appendicitis is caused by the obstruction of the appendiceal lumen. The most common causes of luminal obstruction include lymphoid hyperplasia. Lymphoid follicles are dense collections of lymphocytes that get to their maximum size in the appendix during adolescence. Sometimes this growth can literally obstruct the tube. Another cause of obstruction is fecalits, a hardened lump of fecal matter that finds its way into the lumen of the appendix and wedges itself there. Parasites, or more rarely, foreign bodies and neoplasms, can cause obstruction as well. Well, the intestinal lumen, including the appendix, is always secreting mucus and fluids from its mucosa to keep pathogens from entering the bloodstream and also to keep the tissue moist. Even when it's plugged, the appendix keeps secreting as usual. When this happens, fluid and mucus build up which increases the pressure in the appendix. And just like when you fill up a water balloon, it gets bigger and physically pushes on the afferent visceral nerve fibers nearby, causing abdominal pain. At the same time, intestinal bacteria within the appendix multiply, leading to the recruitment of white blood cells and the formation of pus and subsequent higher intraluminal pressure. This activation of the immune system can be seen in the lab as an increase in the serum white blood cell count. Patients might also develop a fever in response to the infection. Also, along with a fever, other classical symptoms include nausea and vomiting. If appendiceal obstruction persists, intraluminal pressure rises ultimately above that of the appendiceal veins, leading to venous outflow obstruction. As a consequence, appendiceal wall ischemia begins, resulting in a loss of epithelial integrity and allowing bacterial invasion of the appendiceal wall. As more cells die, the appendiceal walls become weaker and weaker, and for a small proportion of patients, to the point where the appendix ruptures. Rupture of an infected appendix allows the bacteria to escape the appendix and get into the peritoneum, and patients often experience peritonitis. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.